I'm Alex and this is a GameSpot News Update. An article published on Neurology Now argues that excessive gaming can fundamentally change the wiring in an adolescent's brain. Neurology Now is an official publication of the American Academy of Neurology. The article's main focus revolves around the consequences of dopamine on the teenage brain. Studies show that gaming activates pleasure centers in the brain, releasing dopamine and stimulating positive emotions. Over time, due to the abundance of dopamine, the brain responds by producing less, leaving players with a diminished supply. According to the author of this study, this can lead to behavioral problems, withdrawal symptoms, and aggression. The article makes frequent reference to Anthony Rosner, a World of Warcraft addict who could spend 18 hours a day at his computer, becoming a great hero in-game, while neglecting his real-life responsibilities such as his schoolwork, relationships, health, and hygiene. The article says, According to a study by the MPD group, his gaming obsession isn't unique. Nine out of ten children play video games. Well, I work at GameSpot.com and don't know anyone that games for 18 hours a day. But regardless, the article goes on to say that gaming can have some advantages. Games can require players to think of strategies, multitask, and make decisions with both short-term and long-term consequences. These skills are relevant in many jobs today. So gaming in moderation appears to be relatively healthy and advantageous, and playing for 18 hours a day unhealthy. Got it. Get all your gaming news at GameSpot.com.